Hi, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough, or maybe a slow walkthrough because it's quite complicated. A tune for Niall Gow's Lament on the Death of His Second Wife. And it is Niall, not Neil, N I E L, not N E I L. I've only just found that out. It's double C tuning, normally played in D, so double C with a capital one, two is fine. I'm actually on an old banjo that won't get any higher, tuned down to double A. So that's A. That's E, that's A, and that's B, and that's E. Um, so uh, I'll play the A part, and I'll um, then I'll play the B part, and then um, we'll see how we get on. But uh, the A part goes like this. It's in three four time, six eight time, on the bows, not in four four time anyway. Um, <laughs> twice as long as the A part you only play once and this is how the B part goes it is more complicated put some triplets in it <laughs> So this is going to take some explaining because there's some difficult parts and some bits where uh, you're going to have to um, maybe have a look at the tab that I've done, which is on Banjo, Hang Banjo Hangout, um, and see if that helps you in terms of the length of notes and, the, and some of the rhythms, which are quite tricky. I've done it before. I didn't do a lesson before. I played it before and I didn't get it quite as good as this, so I'm a bit more pleased with it this time. Um, so anyway. The A part starts like that on the open second string, and then hammer onto the second fret third string, and then open third string. So that's open third string, hammer onto the second fret third string, and then two strikes of the open second string. string there. It's not there. So then it's um, play on the second fret on the third second string and pull off. So that's to open. Back onto the second fret and up to the fourth fret. Fifth fret first string, and then onto the seventh fret first string. So that whole phrase again. And it is quite good to have your pinky on there because the next phrase is the um, tenth fret on the first string, the ninth fret on the second string with a drop thumb. Like so, and then down to the seventh fret on the second string, and then the ninth fret on the third string, and then the open second string, and then the second fret on the second string, so that 
that's the hammer on to the second and then to the fourth and then open second string and that's a C chord shape so that's second fret and then open second fret on the third string open on the fourth and second and third fret on the first string and that's the first half of the A part so the first half of the A part again I'll do it second half of the A part, quite a bit of repeat, so... That's all the same, so exactly the same as the first half of the A part. This time you go up to the 10th uh, fret, and then you pull off to the 9th fret, and you pull off to the 7th fret. That's seventh fret on the second string, ninth fret on the third string, open second string, and then second fret third string. And that brings the second half of the A part to a conclusion. So the whole thing, the A part. about my right hand I'm most of the time I am just playing the notes that I'm saying but there is a very occasional fifth string and a very occasional drop from like there that's a drop from and then there's a fifth string just very occasionally where you feel it needs something a little rhythmic blip then you give it one and so let's just see where we go fifth string. So that works okay. And now the B part, which is harder with some triplets and things. And it's longer, so it's harder to remember. And there's some real runs of eighth notes, which is hard, mostly with hammer-ons, uh, or at least I play them with hammer-ons. You might be able to do them with a drop thumb or with um, other things, but anyway, I'm, I'm doing them with hammer-ons and it works okay for now. Um, that's, a, that's a triplet. Um, a triplet is a three notes that take up um, a, a, a normal note length, so it might be a quarter note or it might be a an eighth note. So that's the first phrase. So that's the open third string, second fret third string, fourth fret third string. That's the triplet. Open second, second fret first. Open second, second fret second. 4th fret 3rd so so that's the 2nd fret 3rd string so they're just 8th notes there's no triplets there a quarter note. So that's trickier again. So I'm going to start from the beginning.
that's how that phrase resolves. So let me go right back to the start again. It helps me remember. It should help you remember. Triplet to start. <laughs> the same as a phrase in the A part, it's the end of the first half of the A part, and then you go straight into another triplet, like so, so that's a open third, second fret third, fourth fret third, and then open second. But then instead of going to the second fret on the first string, you go to the fifth fret, so that's that's the, the triplet fifth second fret fifth fret first string second fret first string open first string fourth fret third string same again. So second fret off and on again and fourth fret and then a, and a quarter note. And again that's like the ending of the second half of the A part. So some similarities and some things to remember. So, so the whole of the A part so far, this is the first half of the A part. So it goes, um, and I'm going to have to play it from the start to get it right. So there's that run which is like lots of eighth notes together, which I'll go through now. So it's triplet, second fret, first string, and then open second string. So it's the triplet, then the open second, then the second fret first, and then open second. Second fret, second, fourth fret, third. So that's all the same, but then it gets different. So it's fourth fret, fourth string, and open fourth string. So it's fourth fret to open, and then it's open third string to fourth fret on the fourth string. So second half of the, the B part to just show you how it sounds all strung together.
So I think we talked about most of those notes, but maybe not all of them. So, so it's fourth fret and fourth string open, and then open third string to fourth fret, fourth string. So that's then the open second string and open third string. So then it's the second fret, third string, pull off to open. Then fifth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, fourth string. So it goes up to the fourth fret on the fourth string. And then it goes back to repeat the second half of the A part. So I'll just play the whole thing again. Um, <laughs> I made a mistake. Hey, this is the way it goes. Um, I'll try again. mistake at the end there too. It's a hard tune, it's, it's tricky to remember. Um, it's quite hard to play because you're up and down the neck, um, but it's beautiful too, so hope you like it and it's Niall not Neil. <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs>